alive. Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, jana tulikuwa live na leo pia tunaenda live na and we'll be doing a lot of live because uh in chetu na tuko na talent mingi sana. So leo nimewahi kumpata best yangu wa miaka mob. Yeah. <laughs> Anaitwa Willy Willy Oeba. Kabisa niaje. Fit sana. Uko fresh and clean. Hadi niko Mungu anasaidia. Eh hey. hey, kila wakati kila muda vile inafaa. Wow wow. It's mm. good to know that uh, you believe. Kabi, I do. Okay. Yeah. So uh well, welcome to the Kibara show. Thank you so much. Tuko live on YouTube. Nice. Na uh, uh, Facebook pia. Great. So uh what have you been up to? Hey, I've been up to a lot. Mm. Um I I am doing my third album. Album yangu ya tatu ina drop like it's hot. I've been working on different things, different tunes, different melodies, doing collabs with different artists from near and far as far as Tanzania, Maju wapi. So it's been a journey. Uh, I've been also learning na vile naweza fanya hizi stuff differently, eh? Mm. La, uh, I released my second album in 2020 December 30 December Neto Dear God and that album has been doing well right now I am doing the merchandise here Dear God wow. the t-shirts the bottles the hoods the capes the sweatpants so I've been up to so much also we have an organization that works with artists and mentors artists and 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 develops their skills yeah so I've been uh, working a lot and uh, now this second half of the year it end up quite interesting sana so oeba uh mbona wanakuitanga the king of spoken word in kenya <laughs> i or are you the one yeah because it is it has been tried and tested what do you say Amen. And uh, in fact that is one of the things that uh, people are wondering even I've been wondering. Uh, yeah. Spoken word uh, is not something many people think about, about as in like something that can take anyone anywhere. Yeah. But wewe umeanzia kwanza kwa mtai Nakuru na Vegas. Ukatokelezea ukakuwa national champ. Mungu anasaidia. Na unaenda huko kwenye umesema nchi zingine. Yeah. Did you see yourself going that way? Uh, honestly I did. Because I believed in the craft. I was doing poetry from Kitambo nikiwa primary school lakini nilikuwa nafanya hii za with the persona za music festivals. Naenda nazo nationals wapi performed for the late president uh, Emilio Kibaki. Wow. While in primary. So nikienda high school mm akukua na msewa kuandika hizi poems because the, now the, the tutor teacher tulikuwa na yeye alikuwa ni madam Latoya lakini yeye pia alienda maju so nikienda high school hapa na kurude hakuwa yes. na mtu wa kuchora ndo tuende to compete nikaanza kuandika zangu so i could write na pair form 1 na tafuta form 2 mwenye anaweza fanya na mpea and then na form team yangu tunaenda nayo competitions wanaenda national so vile nilimaliza high school mm nikagundua hizi vitu zenye nilikuwa nasema huko chuo ndio watu wanataka kusikia bado hapa nje mm. but out here now there are more serious issues there are more pregnant issues issues like corruption gender mainstreaming good governance ndaziweka aje so i started doing spoken word si ungeingia siasa tu au mara moja mbona ukiingia siasa fanyi hizo mambo juu nilikuwa na because my 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 always my idea is always to spark the mind that will change the world yes. i want to transform i want to speak to people i want to make people feel dignified i want to highlight issues that are happening and also contribute into making and change fanya youths wa kuna uh, change in shift of the mindset so okay can you do mm. iko so much in relation to politics but it's not because to nongle so ya good governance na democracy na social justice zinaenda pamoja yeah yeah so the thing is uh, spoken word uh, vile watu wanajua wezi compare na rap which is a bit interesting kwa na rhythm yeah Uh, music generally uh-huh. people enjoy yeah spoken word ni kitu aina like background aina <laughs> aina instrumentals <laughs> yeah. but where we manage to turn sexy into yeah. something that people want to 
I mean, how did you do it? Sa spoken word iko na element moja tunaita X factor. Very uh very very uh distinct element enye watu waki tap into na other youths out there wakigundua itawasaidia sana. Okay. You know with music kuna hiyo uh, lyrics kuna hiyo rhythm that is why inaitwa rap ni uh, rhythm and poetry. Yes. But spoken word now how can limited to rhythm. Mm. Wewe una employ kitu inaitwa lyricism, una employ metaphors, una employ puns. Yeah. So lyricism, metaphors na puns is in your the most dominant stylistic devices unaweza tumia kwa poetry kulua your audience wako pate kukusikiza. Yes. Naona much more sana sana. Yeah, the kwa thing rap. is poetry, spoken word, watu wengi wana ni vitu boring, but yeah. just how you made it interesting. Kabisa. Yeah. Through ah. lyricism yeah. na metaphors na puns. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Is there a school you went to learn all this ama kuliendaje? Schooled by life experience. Go <laughs> <laughs> crowned by. Unajua hata mimi poetry zangu na naangalia kenye na hapa ni hapa nje naandika. Naangalia vitu zina happen. Pesa ya kisima waliiba and that's the damn truth. Okay. So tumecheza hii kisima uh, na damn truth. Unaona? Pesa ni shetani but ni chache. Mali natoka wengi tunaipata kiumungu mungu. Wow. Ni vitu za mtaani hapa. Bali wewe kuna kuna ile yenyewe wewe una ilishika kabisa. So wewe unaijua? Hebu kwanza tupe kidogo kidogo the best part that <laughs> Unataka Mr. Yeah. President. Wewe tafuta kura na ukapata. Sisi tulipata rais lakini hatuna uhuru. Na tuna feel useless unless tunaenda kupiga kura ama kulipa ushuru. Kwa nchi mwananchi analipa standing charges kwa kila kitu ndio MP apate sitting allowance. Kwa nchi hakuna kazi, ma youth kila mahali na bidi wamejiandika kama flaws in mauano. Dear Mr President, wow. do you know the leaders of tomorrow are dying today? Ni guts to wakuna but everyone has something to say manifesto hope azina wa mothers have resorted to pray. Dear Mr President, na watoto wa CBC nani atawafunza hiyo A? Tumechoka. Even Rihanna doesn't want you to stay. Dear Mr President, let's talk about morals. Tunaishi kwa NGP your deputy eko na mavice. Eh. Wa? Ati <laughs> unaongea na unye direct. Eh. Wewe huko unaogopa you know in, the, in, the, in these African countries some things happen bana True they uh-huh. do happen mm-hmm. but uh, courage is in spite of fear it's not the absence of fear yes. fear iko mm-hmm. lakini courage sasa ni hata hiyo fear ikikua mm-hmm. bado tuna do uh-huh. because these issues lazima zifanywe zisemwe tusiposema mm-hmm. mawe zitasema so it will be just a very nice quote by the way yeah so uh, tangu tu kuna ingine pia uliingilia i think the the president siku mwingilia aya wacha watu wasikie ni ukweli tu waambie kwanza wacha wasikie wenyewe kwanza jaji sema hiyo sema hiyo kwanza ya deputy eh hiyo ya deputy kwanza kwa leo ndio vilinibamba dear mr deputy president hiyo unajua kwanza atasikwa gini meshika hiyo nili record nikaipiga ndio unajua it's not personal okay. na nikaisahau hata rafiki naanza kumbuka saa hii na zaga <laughs> sasa umesahau <laughs> lakini zuri record record ndio unaweza kumbuka lines mbili tatu but if there is a piece of mind sije shika ni hiyo yeah tupe hizo mbili tatu <laughs> ah, the same politician ali promise paid internship saya na offer wilbaro kwenda <laughs> Ama unaogopa Ruto anatakuwa president so I uh, revenge <laughs> eh hapana but I know you uh, fear is not in your uh, in your name anywhere kabisa yeah so yeah these are very inspiring they they, they sound like they come from very deep in you yeah oh, oh, i mean what is the source you know is it because you went through rough times when you were young or or you are revolutionized somewhere along the way yeah uh, what, what what made you come out so strongly with such strong words that uh, can put some people in trouble i was almost shot in 2017 21st january mm. pale family health options kenya nakuru yes. just uh, opposite east mark because what happened walikuwa na tafuta msi wa confirm na nilikuwa na dreadlocks baby locks oh, okay so walikuwa na wana picha wanaangalia ai ni huyu mse you mm. get mm-hmm. and nadhani huyu mse alikuwa amefanya crime huko nje 
vile ilikuwa inakaa ilikuwa inakaa kitu big okay then they cornered me wakani hadu lapo kwa kwa kona and then there is a policeman alikuwa na civilian mwingine alikuwa na uniform wakakuja ilikuwa msako ama they were looking for a specific they were looking for a specific because walikuwa naangalia wanasema ni huyu you get confirm is a criminal gang in akuru <laughs> yeah so wale uh, wasona to mommy they mistook you to be confirmed to be one of them exactly ukabebwa no nilikuwa nataka kukaribu ni shoot you hapo because pia nilikuwa na resist so oh. it was very chaotic okay. and then at some point i hit the gun ikaanguka huko wow. kulikuwa na wale wa mama wanauza hapo mavi nini wakaona wakapiga nduru mm. and then at that time a garage zilikuwa zinaingia cbd because ilikuwa like satisa mchana then wase waka gather wakatoroka au mapolisi and then nikagundua these issues was na happen only because they are not highlighted people don't talk about these issues so initially i was doing light pieces so you so, experience ya yako na mapolisi ya oh, yeah. mistaken identity mm. was it the harassment okay. was it uh, the mist- uh, the the context yeah. of uh, the injustice and it happened up ilikuwa no ili ni no ili ni piece of it can spark uh, yeah and they say when a gun is put on your head if they don't kill you yet you live as a man who has nothing to lose <laughs> so in season 2 when unapiga mpaka gari na anguka eh niligonga mkono nilikuwa nimekasirika uh, nilikuwa nimejamba sana oh ah. singe kufa bwana lakini mungu anasaidia uh, eh okay yeah so uh kama ni watu wengine maybe wangeka kwa music kali yeah. mimi ningeenda niandike story yeah. oh ulipeleka kwa spoken word mm-hmm. Aibu uh, uh, anaikwa ho na audience uko tano unajulikana by that time. Yeah. Why did you decide to go that that route? Because words ziko na power. Unajua word is life but life is just a word. Okay. Word is creation. Eh, the thing ya one. Eh, word is creation. Uh-huh. Word ni creator. Ndio yes. maana I am ni word. Okay. God ni word, si ndio? Yeah. Sasa word iko na power sana. Mtu anaweza kuja apige rap, apige rap, lakini kuja nipige spoken word, mse anakumbuka. Huyu mse alisema nini? So mse ako, ako so much concentrated na si wachana rhythm, wachana flow, but spoken word mainly in a cell kenye unasema. So nilikuwa nataka wasee wasikize kenye nasema. So one of the people who have excelled in spoken word ni yeah. King Kaka. Yeah. Sasa wale julikana before or after King Kaka alitoka na ile yake ya oh, sana. Ah before hata King Kaka fanya wajinga nyinyi nilikuwa nimefanya a piece, series of pieces of mine in it were truthies. Nikafanya truthies 1, truthies 2, nilikuwa nimefanya nyingine uh, inaitwa cheza chakacha. Mhm. Nilikuwa nimefanya nyingine inaitwa design design. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nime win Blaze, Blaze Beyond both the uh, Nakuru in, in the, the competition that was in Nakuru Eldoret nilikuwa nime win actually mm. kwa competition ya music nilishinda na poetry okay uh, j blessing king kaka msio kando walikuwa judges and then now june of 2019 tukafanya show na king kaka in nairobi inaitwa um, maneno after that yani wewe umekaa hivi na king kaka collab eh sio kwa pale wajinga nyinyi part 4 na king kaka ah na akasema pale kwa mtandao King Kaka's favorite poet. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're doing well. Thank you. So so uh you know in, if you're doing music uh-huh. or maybe acting, yeah. you know like uh is only to the corner demand. Yeah. The whole, in the whole world. Yeah. You can produce a song today, tomorrow another hit, a movie. Yeah. But spoken word Does it last long? I mean, do you think it will continue for a long time? Yes, spoken word actually in a transcend the test of time. Unajua nilifanya piece flani inaitwa Dear God 2020. Yes. Na hiyo Dear God ina trend right now kwa TikTok, kwa WhatsApp, kwa nini? Wow. Like right now I have sold over a thousand t-shirts and hoodies uh-huh. for the past two months ya Dear God. Hata ukitembea na kuru hapa, uh-huh. utakuta watu wamevaa Dear God. Zingine wow. zinaenda horizontal. They go back because hiyo ni word. Naona nikikwambia line kama Adam uh, Adam was so gullible. Yes. Ama ni jua alikuwa naive. You get? Mm-hmm. Spoken word iko na so much that ukienda home maybe ndio uta, utasema ah kama hiyo line nimekupea maybe utaishika kesho. Yeah. So ukisikia spoken word leo hauta maliza kila kitu and then with the topics and the issues that ziko highlighted in a stay on course 
every now and then every time zinakuwa zina stay relevant you get so spoken word iko na life shelf mrefu sana and that is why unaweza toa spoken word moja leo na ukae hata for all year then utoe ingine but people will still go back like the last piece nearly 2020 you get yeah. but with music you have to be on toes kama jigas una music una photo leo kabla watu wa kusahau utoe ingine kabla watu wa kusahau utoe ingine because so una enjoy kuka pale kwa le mko i feel na wewe ndo on top ukiwa na kinkaka na tear drops eh mungu anasaidia ah okay niko on top kama tabani yangu Uh, so uh, maybe wacha to you about about your background yes. uh, you still young sijui kama utaogopa kusema um, how old you are I'm, I'm i'm turning 28 on the 30th of next and month and you just talk bracket a youth bado bado na kulia kulia hapo kwa youth okay so to me maybe a little bit about uh, kule ulizaliwa yeah. uh, bringing schooling yeah. up to today in, in, in brief born and raised in nakuru place ni toka bachia section 58 ah uh, nikaenda chuo bondeni primary school <laughs> nikatoka nikaenda na kurude nikatoka nikaenda Eldoret Moi University nika graduate media science nikapata pale first class honors flani legendary wow nikaenda internship media stations nini nikaacha now i'm doing spoken word full time so kuna vile unaweza relate you are bringing now with what you are doing now in spoken word yeah zile vitu zenye nime grow nikiona zile beliefs zenye nimezaliwa nao zikakuwa inculcated zile morals and virtues ndio size in ansaidia and also zile vitu experiences nimepitia because i am a realist all i do is express myself then people call that poetry so na mimi na express kenye naona on a day to day life kenye nilipitia na pia naona vitu zenye wasi wengine walipitia na stories za watu wengine ndozi relate so iko very much tied down na zile vitu zenye nimepitia na place nili grow so e ni maybe a matter of opinion or perspective eh? uh-huh. j- j- just assume that you were born uh, in a rich family in, yeah. uh, and you were brought up in a group of schools mm-hmm. do you think we'll still be doing a spoken <laughs> word is is just a ano utuambie what you think about that if you are born in that context i'm not a poet my life is a poem unaona mm. so kama ningekuwa na kwa rich family hiyo calling ingeniita tu labda content ingekuwa different lakini because content iko iko tailored na kenye umepitia kenye una relate nayo content ndio ingekuwa too different lakini bado ningekuwa nafanya tio point. So me believe ni inborn ki talent iko ndani. So kenye nasema ni experience because siwezi ongelea kitu yenye sijaiona. Si ndio? Yeah. Exposure, experience, livelihood, si ndio? Yeah. Kama sasa ningetoka kwa maisha ya kibombe. Yeah. Kwa mapang. Hiyo ni lugha ya mtaani. <laughs> ningekuwa tunafanya hiyo poetry lakini ningekuwa naongelea vitu zingine. Si ndio? Singekuwa naongelea vitu zenye naongelea maybe right now. Ya yeah, so tutaendelea from there tutachukua break kidogo. Okay. Alafu tuongee kuhusu kuna sheng zimeanza kukuja <laughs> na kulambo tov. <laughs> <laughs> na bado tujajua mambo zako. You achieved several national awards. Uh ntuambie pia uko Tanzania na kwingine kwenye mko kienda. And we'll be back at at pay your story in a few. Keep it locked ka warden. Sasa. Oh, kosa.